So, welcome along everybody. Back out the final test ride of this before it goes next week. The Lexmoto Assault for Fred. And this one's being delivered. It's looking a little bit dirty. It needs a clean because we have gone and done some of the back lanes the other day. So, we're going to get it out. We are going to go and have a run down some country roads and have a look what this bike will do. Now, the best thing is this has, down the front, dual sport tyres, so knobbly to the front, semi-knobbly to the rear, and it's very similar to the Isca. So we're starting off down at Dobby's, where the sticker board is, Dobby's Garden Centre in Bletchley. Just look for the EV charging point, and on the side of one of the cupboards is the massive sticker board that all the motor vloggers from YouTube and TikTok have been putting their stickers. So, we're going to go out, we're going to have a run, and we're going to show you how good this is on some country roads. So, let's get through the box. Visor down. Into fourth. Get the revs built up and then into fifth. So, test ride at 40 to 45 mile an hour because we've only got seven miles on the bike. You must run your engines in on a 125 and everyone's like, no. I want to go straight to 60 and we had a customer in the other day wanted a bike and obviously she wanted to do 12 to 15 miles a day and we said you've got to run the bike in no I want to go straight to 60 oh well I don't want to do that I want to go 40 you know it must be 40 45 mile an hour no nope, I want to go straight to 60 if the bike can't do that then I don't want to buy it and you're going to go to any dealer they'll go oh yes yes of course you can go straight to 60 but yeah they know that you're going to be back in three months because your engine's burnt out you must run a new bike in within its parameters it's a brand new engine treat it like a baby be nice and it's the same on most of the bikes apart from the 50s where you're going to be going full bore 30 mile an hour straight away that's not going to hurt a 50 but would i take a brand new bike straight up to top speed no you're going to get piston wear ball wear you're going to end up in your a load of hurt within the first 100 miles so do run a bike in now let's catch up on what the week has done so it's a friday morning just coming up for dinner time and no doubt my alarm will go off in my pocket and say it's your dinner break, RB. I am working through my dinner. We've been going at it since 7 o'clock this morning. I haven't got time to stop for dinner. Poor me. Cup of coffee and cigarettes. Quick smoke and a drink at the garage. Then on to the next bike. Shed load of MOTs for cars and bikes in. And also a lot of bike servicing coming in. And lo and behold, you can probably hear the breeze. A Storm Catherine is rolling. I think they call it Storm Catherine or something. In on the front brake. Back it up with the rear brake stops on a sixpence now when you stood at the lights hook your bike into neutral the last thing you want is to be sat at traffic lights in gear someone comes and slams you up the back side the bike's in gear you drop the clutch the bike's going to take off on its own so always cover your front or your rear brake i tend to cover the front brake if you do get walloped from behind it's very easy to swap legs get yourself up and whack it into gear really quickly and watch out for those people obviously that want to filter in down the outside lane and that is very breezy out that the bike is unperturbed it's sitting there it's handling nicely but we are going to hook off just down here and get some country lanes in and we're also going to get in a big hill climb i love being out on a a bike with knobbly tyres and obviously we took the Triumph Tiger this way which was great fun and it was teeming with rain but we had an absolute blast out on the bike but with uh, riding a bike obviously watch out for your road conditions if the roads look greasy be careful if it's wet or slightly wet or absolutely teeming with water you're not going to ride the bike at its full potential you're going to ride to the road conditions <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh that wind now a couple of quick things 
you're going to be uh, monitoring your speed going into corners you're not going to be coming in as hot as you would if it was a dry day left hand bend you're going to be sitting right out in the middle of the road looking round that corner to get the furthest vision that you can and then obviously coming into a left hand corner you're going to tuck yourself in to the position one looking through the corner because if a car if you're out in the middle of the road car overshoots the corner you are in the firing line so tuck yourself in left hand corner right out in the middle right and um, right hand corner right in the middle left hand corner tuck yourself in on position one but normally country roads ride position two keeps you out of all that crap that is in the uh, side of the road and obviously on a dual carriageway slightly different position one at 40 mile an hour you're not going to be sat right out but it's a nice little road this to climb a very countryfied but obviously we have changed cameras now over the last few weeks following the advice of peaky biker crazy legs uh, on a bike and loads of other bikers that have all dropped a GoPro and they've said no nah, GoPros I had a GoPro 10 it was good but obviously the 9.8s and 7s were a lot better the 10 11 and 12 are absolute pants all they've done is just basically what Samsung and Apple have done upgrade the phone make it a lot better and just bug the old software to make you buy the new one shifting down to fourth gear climbing the hill now this is a one in four but the bike's doing it at 30 mile an hour and we're going to come off here and then we are going to take in the rat run as we call it now this is the linking road between great brick hill and a little brick hill in milton keynes nice and steady round the corner low torque you don't want high revs when you're coming round and you can just see the amount of dirt mud and gravel that is down here now we took the tiger around the other corner and obviously the back end was squirrelling everywhere because of all that moss, dirt and potholes in the middle of the road. Now, gearing down just a little bit, watching that corner because everybody uses this as a rat run. But this is not one of the best roads in Milton Keynes. We're going to sit right in the gravel, is the bike phased, sit in the moss. Let's just sit in the moss and mud because I've got to clean the bike. Yeah, back end, you can feel the... The back end just kicking out slightly, but we're holding it in place. I'm going to avoid the big piles of poo there. But if you happen to live in the middle of nowhere, and uh, Lex Motor did say to me, do an honest review, do an honest review. I am. There is a car coming. I am not going to set out in the middle of the road. I am going to pull in and let him past, which means let's uh, give him a flash. I'm going to sit over here and see what it's like. Noddy nod. Oh, it's one of my neighbours. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a tail slide, a little bit of a rooster there. <laughs> and everyone uses this road as a rat run. But is this assault with its dual sport tyres phased by it? Let's have a bit of mud. Is the front end going to squirrel everywhere? Come on, more mud, more mud. No, it's unperturbed. There we go dual sport tyres on a bike very good so that just proves the point thank you very much absolutely unfazed so 125 country roads get yourself an assault and those dual tyres are very very good right down the hill we go big potholes past St Catherine's Farm and I know all the people there as well and just back there was Quadrenaline which is the uh, quad centre if you fancy a little bit of quad riding in Milton Keynes Quadrenaline, I know the owner there very well drinks in the local pub coming down the hill, a little bit of back brake let's use some combined brake coming down the hill because some giant potholes, steer clear of those Climbing the hill, and we're in fifth. I may have to shift down at fourth. Is fifth gear going to hold it up the hill with a load of torque on the engine? Yep, there we go. 30 mile an hour, because I'm obviously 40, so we're doing it at 30. But we are in a 30 mile an hour zone now. Up to fourth, get some power on, climb the hill. All good. There we go. Quick look up the hill. Yes, Mrs. B is home. <laughs> She's working from home today. Hello, Mrs. B. Goodbye, Mrs. B. 
normally when the neighbours are out or the villagers out, they normally know that I come test riding up here. Village pub there, I'll oh, pop in for a pint. Oh, maybe not. And White Maples is up for sale. I know that's up for, I think, £700,000. All the posh houses up there. If anybody's got a spare, 1.4 million. And if I do win the lottery, they can buy me this one. That is Court House. Seven bedrooms with a massive dungeon and four garages in the garden. And one of them does have a workshop. I would love that. Get all the boys around on a Saturday. Let's uh, clean the bikes and service the bikes in the garage. Yes. There's some nice houses up in Little Brick Hill. And Jamie's coming up for the weekend, I believe, on his LXR. So, maybe leaving his bike at the garage, or he may be even parking up at my house with it. But we'll take Jamie down the pub. A little bit of fun on a Saturday night. Me and Mrs B out with Jamie for a drink. So it'd be nice if he can come up. Obviously, he has a couple of medical issues that he's told me about. So if he does come up, it'll be great. If not, then we'll catch up him, with him in September. But it'd be nice to see Jamie. <clears throat> so we're going to head back to the garage. And obviously off the back of uh, the GoPro issue we got the DJI Osmo 4 so thanks to the guys from DJI and all the boys that said get yourself an Osmo 4 I've enjoyed the Osmo 4 that much that I've just ordered another one for the front of the bike pointing back at me and then we're going to use the Insta down by the exhaust can to get some rear shots which will be nice and the final mention uh, VPR Moto, v, so Victor Papa Romeo, VPR Moto, Facebook and Instagram, who are Viper Helmets and Clothing. And obviously uh, Helen in the office and Kevin, who is our area rep, I did say to them I am looking to change up my bike gear this year. And obviously my yellow jacket, which is obviously uh, Australian Bike Aware, who have now changed their name and they are now just bike aware I did message them and say do you do this uh, no we've discontinued that range I loved my bike aware jacket it was warm as anything and uh, just in conversation I said to Kevin that I was changing up my biker gear and he went oh what are you looking at I went mm, I do like the Viper stuff but I, d I wanted something more adventure wear and obviously following on from the video we did at the NEC with him where he was showing off all the new gear he said we've now got the guard adventurer out and uh, it comes in uh, black it comes in khaki and it comes in gray and obviously the gray looks very similar to the GTR so I said to him I do like the adventure gear what's it like he said it's it's good it's as waterproof as your bike aware do you want to try it and I went yeah go on I'll buy it so uh, he's actually sent me the guard jacket and the trousers totally free of charge for me to do a review and it will be an honest review it won't be because they've sent me something for free it's not going to be oh yes look at this yeah i got this it's the top dollar i will give it an honest review so we're going to do about four videos on it first one is going to be a, an in-depth reveal of what it looks like the next one is going to be me obviously wearing it for comfort and then uh, a couple of final videos of me obviously out on the GTR and me out test riding with the new Viper gear. Morning bro. And so we're going to be doing all of that with the VPR Moto stuff but obviously Viper are going to be displaying their stuff down at the bike show on Sunday. So we'll have all the Viper helmets, the Viper gloves, the Viper jackets, trousers, um, and even just the waterproof coverings like your plasticky pullovers. They do those as well, really cheap. So there is some really good Viper gear that is out on the market, and the brand is pretty darn good. And uh, it's obviously a rival for stuff like the GSB and the Stealth, if not better quality. And better money as well. <coughs> So thanks to Kevin and Helen and all the team at uh, Motorheart, M-O-T-O-H-A-R-T, Motorheart, who do the Viper brand. So we're going to uh, obviously do loads of in-depth reviews on that and just see how good 
it is and obviously if it is good i will review it if i do find a fault then i will pick a fault and then obviously take it back to the factory and go well oh, you need to do this 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 rev said this but thank you to helen and kevin at viper now lexmoto moving subject slightly have dropped the price of all their bikes by about 200 250 quid at the moment so uh, loads and loads of good bikes coming onto the market at the moment and there is a brand now the motor vloggers know about this because i obviously disclosed something slightly yesterday <clears throat> and vincent's all going to be uh, happy about that there is an adventure bike coming from lexmoto it's not going to be here till july um, but there is a brand a brand new lexmoto coming on the market that I have been really interested in and trying to push to get that brand in for the last year and it has finally arrived so watch out it will be coming in July we have the first demo bike coming to us and mine will be probably the first review so thanks to the guys from Lexmoto for sorting that out and we will do the first review on that and reveal so the channel is going absolutely nuts at the moment people coming to me and saying oh if uh, we send you something for free can you give it uh, a really good review i don't do that unfortunately i don't do that if you want a review of your product i will do a review but it will be an honest review and if i don't like it then unfortunately i will say so so yeah i don't do uh, oh this is really good go and buy this it's 89 quid or whatever and people buy it and it's an absolute pile of pants and go well your review wasn't very much so yeah honest reviews only from rb but if you do want to review message me up all the details are on the website revbomb.co.uk and all my contact details are in there the whatsapp the website number my email address as well so yeah we do product reviews and i think the last one we did was obviously the oex takana which i have used quite a few times and it's as good i wouldn't say it's fantastically good it takes a little bit longer than a jet boil to boil its water uh, probably about another 30 seconds but it does boil water you can cook food on it and it's two-thirds of the price of the jet boil so if you are into that good old boy yeah you can get one of those so oex takana thank you very much guys it's just as good just takes a little bit longer to boil your water and for another 50 quid are you worried about 30 seconds extra to boil your water up exactly that no right we're going to park this one up in my mot bay and my alarm is going off in my pocket it's five past twelve it's coffee time rb side stand down kills the engine so there it is that is the lexmoto assault nice little ride through the countryside job done loads of mileage on it on to those next so uh, on to my tiger the voge 500 that we've got in for a service k13 rb's bike is over there let's cancel the 12 o'clock alarm coffee time in shoes we're on to servicing and mot's we've got the bike show down here sunday on the yard so we're going to clear all this yard put all the bikes out if you happen to be a tiktoker or a youtuber you're parking over there and we shall have the trailers up the marquees all here all the display of the viper gear so you can come down and see the viper helmets jackets boots gloves everything we do from viper come and see our brand new selection of lexmoto wk and has motorcycles so it's this sunday 10 till 4 sunday the 7th of april 10 till 4 down at eclipse motorcycles mk2 2pf put that in your sat nav you will find us there's going to be loads of parking we're going to have music we're going to have a food wagon we've got mental health motorbike here and we've also got the team from the Henry Allen Trust. So a couple of charities down here. But until the next time, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.